Hello and welcome to St. Mark's online worship. You might notice that I'm not wearing my normal clothes that I wear as the minister because this Sunday, today, we are celebrating Baden Powell's birthday and all the Cub Scouts and the guides have made videos and so I hope you're really going to enjoy today's service. We're going to sing camp songs and all kinds of wacky things and so today's going to be a very special service. If you like our videos, Please remember, down at the bottom, there's a little thing that says subscribe. Click on it, and then you will, be a, you will have the, the uh, YouTube channel will come up much easier for you, and, and uh, then you'll be able to watch our YouTubes. And please don't forget to watch the end of this video until the end, because that's when I will be making the announcements at the end of the service. <laughs> Please join me in the call to worship. Scouts love to have campfires. In the red of the fire, we see energy and warmth, the eternal flame of the Olympics, which are going on right now, but also the devastation in the world where the red hot anger makes people do angry things. May we in scouting douse the terrible flames of fear and nurture only the sparks of good which are in all of us. In the orange of the flame, we see fruits of the earth spilling from the horn of plenty. But we are also aware of the des desolation and the devastation of drought-stricken lands, which we have never seen. May we, in scouting, feed the spirit which fills the hearts and minds, and so the bellies of children everywhere. In the yellow of the flame, we see the light that fills the world with happiness, peace, and joy. Let us be people of the flame and share it with the world. Amen.
Let us pray. Left hands stretched around the world, we greet each other. We know that deep inside we have a lot to share. We have all been touched by the same spirit. We pass it on to others because we care. So God, pour out your spirit on everyone here as we worship and praise your name. Amen. But I say to you, listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And if anyone takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you, and if anyone takes away, from, takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those for whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good and lend, expect nothing in return. Your reward will be great and you will be the children of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked but merciful, just as your Father is merciful to you. These are stories from the faithful. Thanks be to God.
My name is Marcel Front. Uh, I've been in scouting for uh, all told about just over 10 years. Um, I joined scouts as a youth. I was in uh, First Gatineau Scouts in La Belle Province du Québec and I thoroughly enjoyed that. It, was, it happened around a time when I just lost my father. And so my mother was looking for me to get involved and have an activity that would be safe and adventurous for me. And I always loved being outside. Um, and actually, after joining Scouts and doing that as a youth, I actually got into uh, natural sciences as a career. And I uh, went to, uh, I got a diploma in fish and wildlife technology. And then from that, moved on to my career. And then as I got older, married and had uh, had kids that had uh, both my kids were interested in camping etc because we did it all the time so I rejoined at this time as um, a scouter and um, I helped out with the cub age with my son and then when I joined scouts my daughter joined as well because she wanted to go camping with her father and she's seen that her brother was doing a lot of this type of activity so um, we had a great time and I have to say, probably the biggest thing that draws me to continuing to offer my time and volunteer is um, I just really want to show the youth how they can enjoy the outdoors, the things they can learn, um, and in doing so, they gain so much confidence. There is uh, such a sense of pride from someone who started their own, their first fire, as silly as some may feel that is, but it gives this sense of independence and the ability to uh, overcome in whatever situation you're in. So that's the kind of enjoyment I got as a youth and I really love uh, passing that on to all the knowledge that I have and uh, the experience that I have to pass it on to the youth so that they in turn can enjoy the, the, the natural environment. And I think it's, um, it's also a step to, towards stewardship of, of our resources um, because I think they have an understanding of what it takes to enjoy it more and they want to enjoy it more. And, that, you know, and the, the, the reality is, is that with that, they will be striving to protect what we have in Canada. And it, it is so rare. There are places in the country that, uh, or in the world, sorry, that are uh, really straining the environment. So having all of these, um, all these folks <laughs> coming up that can enjoy that and uh, have, actually have a passion to protect it, it's immeasurable, and the, the, just on, a, on the, the day to day activities that we have, uh, seeing how the, the youth are sharing what they're learning and expressing the passion that they have and the pride they have in what they're learning, is, and that, I can't put a measure to that. I just, it, it really is awesome to feel that way. And there are days where I get kind of down, it's a lot, it takes a lot of effort, but I come to a meeting and I'm fully in all, all over again. So that's why I do it. And I encourage you to join as well and, <laughs> and get involved. Thank you. My name is Janice Slaughter and I'm a Girl Guide leader with Girl Guides of Canada. I have been a leader for a number of years and thoroughly enjoy doing it. I've met lots of wonderful people and I think the program for the girls is excellent. It gives them so many opportunities to learn new skills, meet new people, work out of their comfort zone. They all co also can uh, travel. When they get a little older, there are opportunities for them to travel, attend camps in other countries, and meet so many new people. It's a worldwide organization. We're in over 145 countries. So there's ample room there to visit. And this coming Tuesday is our thinking day, February the 22nd. Girls and guides and Girl Scouts from around the world will stop and give each other an extra thought and also celebrate the birthdays of the founder and his wife on on the same day thank you
wants to share and be a friend. Okay. Good job. Hi, I'm Kira, and this is the Brownie Promise. I promise to do my best to be true to myself, my beliefs, in Canada. I will take action for a better world and respect the Brownie Law. As a Brownie, I am honest and kind, and I will help take care of the world around me. Lend a hand. On my honor. On my honor. I promise. I promise to do my best. To do my best. To do my duty to God and the Queen. To do my duty to God and the Queen. To, to, and the queen. to help other people at all times. To help other people at all times. And to carry out the spirit of a scout law. And to carry out the spirit of the scout law. A scout is. A scout is. Honest and trustworthy. Honest and trustworthy. Kind and cheerful. Kind and cheerful. Considerate and clean. Considerate and clean. And wise in the use of all resources. And wise in the use of all resources. Can we do that again? Oh. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give thanks for this special Sunday where we celebrate young people. 
we celebrate the energy and the enthusiasm. We give thanks for those that provide leadership, for those who give their time and their resources to develop skills with young people. God, we also pray for our hurting world. We pray for the places where there is anger, where there is poverty, where there is sickness, where there is sadness. Pour out your spirit on this God land. We are called to be a people of reconciliation. So pour out your spirit on this land so that we can live in peace, that we can begin to hear each other and talk to each other and bring about the kingdom of God in this place. And pour out your spirit on every single person in this congregation. And especially, God, we lay before you George and Larry and Anne who are suffering from devastating illnesses this week. Let them know that they are not alone, that you are with them. And God, we pray for ourselves that we may stay strong, courageous, and faithful to your call. And we pray all of this in the name of the risen Christ, and we say together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Go out into the world like a child, a child who's not afraid to say, I love you. Will you be my friend? Will you be my neighbor? So go out with that kind of spirit and share it with those around you. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. And may the Lord grant you peace now and forever. Amen. I just have one announcement this morning. Uh, sorry, this afternoon, whenever you're watching this, is that next week is our annual congregational meeting. It will be by Zoom at noontime. So after church, you can run home, get your lunch, get your cup of coffee, 
Even a glass of wine, if that's what you want to deal with the financial statements of the annual meeting, you never know. And you'll be able to sign in at noontime so that we can conduct the business of the church for the next year. So I invite you to please join us in that meeting so that we get as many voices as possible to help us make decisions. Amen. <laughs>